Welcome to another episode of the 72 Pin Connector. With us this week, we have Adam. Hi. And back again this week, we have Dark Soul Invader. Hello. How's it going, fellas? It's going pretty good. How was y'all's week? You know, have have some good times? Yeah, I think a basic week, actually. Not too busy, not too, too not busy. Ohio has had all of the seasons this week. Awesome. So, nice. <laughs> so a little bit of this, a little bit of that in there? Yeah, a little bit of snow, a little bit of 66 degrees, some tornado warnings. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a week. <laughs> Fucking Ohio. I remember my sophomore year of high school. It was closed because of snow at the beginning of the week, closed because of flood water at the end of the week. <laughs> Fucking Ohio. It happens. So now well, here, nothing happens. To say, how hot is it there? <laughs> Dark. <laughs> here, uh, it's hot. still cold. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. up in uh, elevation? Surprising. Yes, that's the thing. This oh, is elevation. Okay. Guys. But we don't have we don't have tornado warning, storm warning. Like the worst we can get here is like slightly larger hail than normal. <laughs> well, that, imp that implies that hail is normal for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Occasionally. Okay. I don't think I've seen hail since I've moved out here. In Ohio, you would see it about once or twice a year. Every, yeah, every once in a while we get a little bit of hail. Out here in Washington, I haven't seen any of it. In I like, get all the rain. Well, you see, okay. So Seattle rain isn't rain. It, it just spits. Like It's not rain oh, anywhere else in the missed. country. However, today... Um, it was doing its Seattle rain thing all morning. I'm like, I want to go fishing. I'm going to put on my rain gear. I'm going to go out on the kayak. And I'm out there for about an hour. And then all of a sudden, it starts to rain a little. I'm like, okay, it's a normal Seattle rain. I can deal with that. And then it starts to actually open the fuck up. I'm like, really? <laughs> of all the times for you to start pouring, it's when I'm in the middle of a goddamn pond. <laughs> no way to get out of cover. Oh, it pissed me off. Did it piss you off as much as that fish you kind of caught but didn't? Ooh, let's not go there. Let's not <laughs> go there. Rage right now. That, that, at that, the mere thought of it. I'm still I'm sorry upset I brought about it up. That. I, I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was so soon. I'm sorry. It's it sensitive of me. It made it better, because, or at least a little easier on me, because his friends were pretty tasty. <laughs> so that works. But yeah, it's been for me. I haven't been able to play too much this week. Um, got home late a couple nights, but I did find myself going into my usuals <laughs> i have a usuals. nasty nasty tail. we all have usuals and i think i'm bouncing off of it though is the thing have you guys ever reached a point where after a year or two of playing a game all of a sudden it's like you know what i i just kind of don't want to right now absolutely yeah. i'm getting that a lot with rocket league lately i almost i mean most of the time i'm like no nah, i don't really want to play that i'll play something else i've gotten to the point if i'm not doing finally <laughs> If I'm not doing a rank grind or if I'm not doing any of the fuck off modes, I'm just like, eh, okay. Yeah. Well, I really want another new multiplayer game. I need some new multiplayer same. game. Yeah, we should do some research and I'll buy the same one at the same time. Or we could get Let's lucky get and get a to something game. else. Could get a game that came out in the Humble Monthly. Just so happens oh, was yeah. open this time. That yeah, we were talking about that good. the other day. What came out? Or what was in it? it it's a game called Laser League that came out in this month's Humble, Bun Humble Monthly Bundle. It's, uh, it's multiplayer, obviously, and it seems like it's built around competitiveness. Laser seems League? -ish. Yeah, I've heard, I've had a couple of friends who played it say it's pretty good. Um, is it like a shooter or? It, okay, so I don't know because I haven't played it. I've only seen it. It's, it, it, it's kind of like, like Tron. Sort of. You remember like Tron, ride the bikes, have people hit walls of color? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's kind of like that, except you're not on a bike and you're more controlling, you're controlling points that actually make the walls. And the walls aren't stationary. They don't stay behind. They like spin and do stuff. Mm. Yeah, I'm watching the video. I watched this the other day when you mentioned it, but I'm watching mm. it again. I can't Looks, find it because uh, I don't know how to spell laserly, I guess. It might be spelled either with way. Laser I don't with know. an S. Like laser, yeah, it's oh, L A S E R okay. league. League. I oh, maybe so okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. 
continue. I like I, I do like the trailer. I like that they show all these clips of the people enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cuts to the dudes like holding the control, like, oh wow, this is sweet. And all the <laughs> yeah. at, uh, whatever that event is, like PAX or whatever or something. That's funny. Fucking PAX. Everyone's the happy game, anytime they play anything though. at PAX. Yeah. yeah. Because they waited five hours to play it. Well, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, I'm I like these kind of games. I think those are fun. Mm-hmm. But I don't. Hmm. I don't it know if it's like something the kind I could. Of game that we play like over the weekend or something. Yes. I don't know if it would be something that we would yeah. consistently play a lot all the time. Like um, disc jam. We played disc jam for what one or two weekends. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. It was not that it wasn't great. It was a it was a really good game. But once that beta was over, we just kind of dropped off of it. Yeah. It's like um to me I have like I always call them way of life games where the mm -hmm. game gets entrenched in your life. Like for me, Rocket League was like that. PUBG was like that. It's mm -hmm. these multiplayer games that day in, day out, you will come back to, you will play. Halo was that for the large, large chunk of my life. Totally. And yeah. there's just you been- You were the a, Halo guy. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I was a Halo guy. Still kind of am. Like, Actually, I was clamoring. If somebody, if somebody was like, what games define Eric? I would be like, well, Halo. <laughs> Always Halo starts Rocket Saturday. League, probably Borderlands. Uh, I did a that 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 was that was a good time. I would <laughs> love me a Borderlands three would get me good for a while. Oh Bo yes. Yeah. Honestly, now that um um uh, what's it called? You played it, Souls. Um, Destiny. Now that uh -huh. Destiny has this formula out and people understand it better, I would love to see what Borderlands would be able to do with more of the Destiny formula. Mm. where it's more continuous support they started to do that with the second one but actually full-on adopt that with the over-the-top crazy shit that goes on in borderlands i think that would be so fucking awesome that would be really cool like a borderlands mmo sort of thing yes that would be that would be that so would be cool like, borderlands has such a good loot system and game i just i love borderlands Oh, the Borderlands has one lore aspect. I could be wrong in it, but you know the sirens, right? Like Maya and Lilith. Yeah. And and, and Angel. Um, there's there's only twelve allowed in the universe at any given time. So theoretically, if you did an MMO, you'd either have to break lore or write or write around it somehow. To or you just don't let them play. be playable. Different characters. Yeah, just to have siren is so important though. But yeah, I guess. Yeah, you'd have to do that. Or, I mean, you could probably find some campy solution. Or it's Borderlands. They would probably somewhere... The they would explain somehow where they're adjusting this for the game in the game somehow in some funny way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is something they would totally do. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, I can see that. This was the way the world was. Only 12 ever. Until we needed a sequel and we decided to expand it. <laughs> yeah. I love that game, except for Claptrap. Fuck Claptrap. What? You don't you don't like Claptrap? Claptrap Clap was awesome. He's so funny and charming. He, kind of wait annoying. till the next one. He's going to be awful. You're going to hate him. He's going yeah, to... Yeah, every... He had his own DLC. People love Claptrap. Yeah, you have your own DLC for... Uh, no, he, he wore on it. I get it. You can, you can do too much. It's like the minions of... Yes. Video game characters. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I see that. And then they make a Minions movie, and it's like, all right, we we've had enough of these things. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, getting into that. Um, have you guys done anything interesting this week, game wise? Anything at yes. all? Some new stuff. Yes, I have. Really? Yes, I have. What have you been doing? The deets. What you got? So. Let's talk about Human Fall Flat for a second. Yes. Because this was a game, it looked, I, I didn't know what it looked like to me. It just, I don't want to say I was, ex, I wasn't even really that excited to play it at first. Or when I first saw it, I was like, I saw a bunch of people playing it and I looked it up and I was like, oh, it looks kind of funny or fun or whatever. Um, so we played it the other day, uh, me, you and D-Laz, Eric. Um, yes and it was a lot of fun i was surprised it it grasped me more than i thought it would and it's uh it's just a simple little game it's just a puzzle game 
Did uh, you ever play Gang Beast? No, I didn't at all. Yeah, this is I've a more it's a more polished control scheme, but it's a similar control scheme. Okay. So the the gimmick I guess is that it's hard to control your character kind of. Like it's it's got that I don't know how to describe it. Octodad like floaty, kind of thing. Yeah, that floaty uh awkward physics and controls and stuff. But it's really fun. And some of the puzzles are actually pretty clever. Yeah, um if you ever get back into it, or I shouldn't say into it, it's not a game that you just play over and over, but if you ever want to jump back in, there are some mm-hmm. really cool puzzles later on. Mm-hmm. Like you did the you saw the one with the hook where it was like a swing thing and yeah, it's just really cool physics. Yeah. And I like that um, there's multiple ways to get through areas and kind of like cheese the areas once you know <laughs> kind of how all the mechanics work together. Well, that was fun for me because um, we started at this. It was your first time and I'd already almost, almost beat it. So mm-hmm. you're going through doing normal stuff and I'm thinking, how can I climb up here and do this? <laughs> It's like I'm just monkey barring around the place while you're going through. Push this button. Wait for a cut. Right. Push that button. Yeah. So it's, yes. that all could be completed just single player, right? So I believe so. That said, it is really hard to do I some of that stuff single player. Yeah. And I wouldn't recommend playing it single player. It's one of those get, you know, a friend or two laugh and be ridiculous in the game. d yes. kept grabbing onto me and trying to pull me off the ledge and stuff. <laughs> like, what, me, what did we do with you with the crane thing? Oh, so, so you can grasp onto stuff with your L2 and R2 with your arms or whatever. Yes. So we had this big crane and I was controlling the crane and it had this big, uh, well, it was more like a wrecking ball, really. It was a bucket. It, it was a big bucket. Yeah, it was like bucket. a bucket, but we were using it like a wrecking ball. So he grabbed onto the bucket and then he grabbed onto the ground and I started pulling it away and it glitched the fuck out of everything. Like <laughs> my like guy he started. On, he was holding on. Uh, and then he started to like vibrate and move funny. And then it got really crazy and he went flying. It was really, it was really cool. It's just a charming game. It's, it's not an amazing game, but it's, it's, it's got that, that charm to it. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun with friends. It's funny. You brought up a really interesting aspect, and I don't know of a lot of games that do this. I know of TV <laughs> shows, like Archer's one for me, but it's something where if you're doing it by yourself, it's not enjoyable. The game mm. is made by playing with others. I don't know of a whole lot yeah. of others like that. Um, I mean, Rocket League, kind of, yeah. but if the bots were better, you wouldn't need humans. Some, I don't know, some games you have to have other players. Well, obviously, any online multiplayer game without a single player campaign or whatever. But uh, what about what about keep talking and nobody explodes? I mean, I guess you, you could play that by yourself, but that would be incredibly difficult. That would be, yeah, that would be ridiculous. But you just memorize just memorize the manual. You can oh, probably yeah. speed run that game. Yeah, but some of that stuff is yeah, just so deep. With complex charts <laughs> and the graphics stuff. Yeah. Certain <laughs> ones have their own damn language to them, pretty much. You'd have to study that thing for a year. At yeah, least. there's the that one puzzle with like the crossing wires that have like that huge yeah complex chart. wires. Yeah. yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh, we need to play that again. I know every time it gets brought up, I say that, and we haven't done it, but we need to play that game again. It's fun. Okay, Dobby just brought up a really big one. Um, overcooked. Overcooked. I've yeah, tried to play it that. solo player. It It's hard, but it's not as enjoyable. Yeah, that's all about the, the cooperative interactions with your team. Yeah. So we've talked about this before, but have you ever played that, Souls? Have I played... Overcooked? I have not. Oh, uh, where I live, there's nobody who plays games here where I live. My, I live in a very dead area. That sucks. Yeah, it's not great. Does that, does that support online play? Nope. No. That is the one terrible thing about the game. Oh, man. That would be so good if we could all play that. Yeah. yeah. I'd play it. Mm. It would be Sad. all. I mean, there's some stuff you could probably do to simulate a local network. But yeah, it's it's a really fun fucking game. That sucks. You, haven't, or you don't have anyone to play it with. Yeah, there's games like that I just can't play. Stuff that's a uh, single or... Uh, 
local only. That just I, no one plays games here. You see to All me. Right, hang on. Yeah. With uh, we'll set up Team Viewer. No. Oh. oh God, <laughs> that'd be awful. Playing and we'll through play a team viewer. At 10 frames per second. Oh man, uh, I'm like a second delay. Yeah, a second delay. It'd be great. It's the perfect game. But man, that sucks. It's some games or some I just like to play in person. Like when even uh, mm -hmm. a couple years ago, we did a LAN for CSGO where we just yeah. all brought our computers to Tom's place. And, that, and we're, yeah, it was that great. Was so much more fun. And I'm not a CSGO guy, but that was really fun. Just having your buddies there playing the game, it's like, yes, mm -hmm. this is this is yeah. good. That was I used to have a couple of buddies who would play like you guys remember zombies on like Call of Duty. We'd play mm -hmm. that like four oh, player yeah. split screen. That Hell was yeah. fun. Uh, but most of them actually moved out for you know life. <laughs> They're like gone. Life, yeah. <laughs> video game, our life. What are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, they wanted to be successful and do stuff. But you know, yeah. People glorify being successful and accomplished. I know. Fuck that stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, Jesus. Well, yeah. But Jay, um, that. you also um did a little bit of Vermintide this week, didn't you? For your first time ever? Yes, yes. What um, do you this think? This guy here, Mr. Dark Soul Invader, we played yeah. with Dave. Oh, yeah, that's right. Epoch. Epoch. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I I've never been I've never been a Left for Dead fan, and I know that this gets compared to that because it is pretty similar in game type, I guess. It, yeah, it's the same idea. Same idea, but this was this this worked a lot better for me than than Left for Dead did. There's something about the melee combat that is just satisfying. Um. But so um, over, is the melee a pretty big key then? Yeah, it's pretty much all melee combat. I mean, every every okay. character has a gun of some sort or an arrow or something. But, um, but all that has it, limited ammo. Yeah, it's limited ammo. Uh, it's 90% melee combat. I, there, You know, the, the melee combat was good. There was something missing. Um, and it might just be because I'm a low level and I don't have excellent gear. But it seemed like there wasn't a lot of move combos and stuff. It kind of had that. I don't. It kind of had that Skyrim combat feel. Mm. Where it could also you be have, a character type. Yeah, it could be that too. But it seemed like I had, you know, left click attack, and I can hold it to charge and attack. But that's basically the only attack. Yeah, um, the Skyrim combat only works because there's so many other systems that you're there for. Yeah, you, nobody plays Skyrim because the combat's good. They yeah. play Skyrim for the world and the exploration and all that stuff. Or to just install a thousand Steam Workshop mods. To make the but, combat good. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We're but, talking about installing mods. You're not going to be doing that <laughs> off a of Steam Workshop. <laughs> Nexus mods. What was that? Was oh, it Nexus yeah. mods? Was that the definitely one? Nexus mods. Okay. Got to do was, it right. Okay. What? I was a Steam Workshop noob, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm a noob on the mod community. I don't do oh. it. So what? Huh. And Nexus is where you get all the good mods. Mm -hmm. Like you have to install them manually. You don't just click subscribe. They're not just there. You got to go through all the work of putting them into your game and managing the load order and all that stuff. But and you have to put in your social and your credit card numbers and everything. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but then so you the can get dragons that are Macho Man Randy Savage. Yeah. <laughs> or Thomas the Tank Engine. Okay, I would totally go for a Thomas. Have you seen that footage of that? No. Oh my god, that's, oh, that's an existing mod. <laughs> and it shows the opening scene of the game, and it's when you're about to be beheaded, <laughs> and then the dragon flies over, but all you hear is this choo-choo, <laughs> and it <all laughs> flies overhead, flying. and it's just Tom and the t Thomas the Tank engine just flying through the air. <laughs> it's, it's really good with the sound and everything. It's, it's amazing. It so, changes the feel of the game for the better, honestly. <laughs> Gets oh, it God. to the silly instead of the overly in serious. In the chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's a um, really but, weird space for a game to live in, is that silly space. Because you pull it off, you're borders, Borderlands. Mm -hmm. But 90% of the time, it's just awful camp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Such, such a dangerous spot to go. 
But anyways, uh, back to Vermintide. The combat, despite not having combos and stuff, I mean, I, I was missing that, but despite not having that, it was still really fun, and I still enjoyed the combat. Um, you do have a blocking mechanic, and you can kind of, like, hold block and then hit the attack button to kind of, like, shove enemies back or whatever, which is very useful because there are a lot of enemies in this game. God Tons damn, holes. there are a lot of enemies in this game. It gets to the point where you're being flooded with enemies. And yeah, how many missions did we complete? Um, one? <laughs> we did... Oh, man, was it just one? I think we only it won was just once. one. I think we only won once. So the game's also wow. kind of difficult, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We played, let's see, probably six games <laughs> and won one. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's so I, I wasn't expecting that level of challenge with it, but it was definitely hard. And at first it was hard, I think, because uh, it was my fault. Dark was playing with a leveled character. Oh, no, I never so, played it. It was my fault because I was picking up. There's You can directly influence the quality of loot that you get by uh, yeah. doing stuff. Yeah, this was a cool mechanic. What? Yeah, so there's these items in the game called Grimoires where if you pick them up, it lowers your maximum HP. Like until you either drop it or until you die um so if you pick them up at the end you get a loot roll and that actively influences how good your loot roll is going to be it upgrades your loot box so to speak mm -hmm. okay and i was originally picking oh you know i'm i'm, I'm all for the loot you give me a game with loot i'll play it doesn't even <laughs> need to be a good game and so like i was picking up everything necessary to get the best loot i'm like trying to power level adam and and dave and you know we're doing good but then we just kept losing because, you know, our, we, if you pick up everything, then you're stuck with about a quarter of your max, max HP, which is like yeah. four hits, maybe. Keep in mind, we were playing on the easiest difficulty, too. We weren't even playing on normal. <laughs> yeah, we weren't but even, yeah. you, you picking this up <laughs> took everyone's health down? Yes. Yeah. yeah everyone. So you, op you opted everyone into yes. health. Yeah. Yes. What a douche. But the, but the loot, Eric. The loot, Eric. The loot, it's the loot. man. Oh. It's the difference between you a green item seen, and a gray item. You should have seen the pile of loot we got for that one that we did win. Now he, <laughs> it was yeah, ridiculous. The one we did win. Now here's the difference between Souls and I. Souls, did you explain to them what you were doing when you did it? Uh, yeah, I did. did. See, yeah, you're a nice I guy. About the repercussions. Though. I wouldn't have. <laughs> yeah. I just would have picked it up and just listened to them talk. <laughs> Man, this game's hard. And I just knowing what's going on, I've been. Come on, guys. We just we just got to get it. It's hard. We got you're this. Just bad. Get good. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm picking all these fuckers up. Like God, we just. I would. Yes. Everybody's <laughs> overwhelmed. Oh my god. So I'm getting one shot over here. Get good. Yeah. Constantly exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy. Where if I understand what's going on. I may not always articulate that out. I'm mm -hmm. that I'm that asshole. <laughs> like I would equip skulls whenever we're running through campaigns on Halo to bring it back to Halo. <laughs> and just not tell people what I'm putting rude. on. That's rude. <laughs> that one's that's pretty bad. You can't do that to people. Yeah, you can. I did. <laughs> like two of those skulls combined triples the enemy's health. Like you can't just do that to a person. That's all elites? Them. Fuck yes. All yeah. elites and give them all nades? Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> The worst thing about that all nades them. was the uh, plasmas would explode later. Like when they're on the ground for a pickup, they can be triggered to explode. So if you're walking through and someone one of them ends up chucking a nade on a dead body, oh, everything goes up. <laughs> and yes, party time skull was the best skull. Such a good skull. Be all the time. If I'm not mistaken, that is the same sound on the Rocket League goal explosion. Party time. I've never right. thought of that. I'm oh. pretty sure that is the same sound effect. How can we verify this? Hmm. We okay. 72 PC will be investigating after this podcast. We will confirm or deny by next month's podcast whether or not party time has been stolen by Rocket League. Ooh. Are they it's using stolen sounds, wow. or are the audio guys making sounds from scratch like they should be? Find out next month. Yes. It's like the Wilhelm scream of video games. It's the what? Wilhelm scream. Please explain. It's a sound of a scream that has been so overused in movies. It's basically a meme. Oh. It's like the same scream. 
but it's okay. used in like okay. a huge wide variety of films. I think it, I think it originated from like old Westerns. Oh, re- that old. Wow. Yeah. Just search Wilhelm scream and you probably will recognize the way it sounds. See, cause I was thinking of Wilhelm from borderlands. I'm like, that's not even that old. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no <that's a> <laughs> <laughs> it was so good it just instantly went everywhere yeah. <laughs> yeah it's all the screams at once oh man all of them. that exists somewhere oh you know it just like you could probably find every popular album compressed into 30 seconds or five seconds of sound like i don't oh know if you guys God. ever watched doug <laughs> Doug's neighbor was always a big inventor guy, and he made a CD player that would take an entire CD and to make it one noise. <laughs> I can't imagine that. That's it'd be awful. Sensory overload. Awful. Yeah. If if it was the the soundtrack of Inception by Hans Zimmer, the it would be compressed down into a one singular. Wow. <laughs> 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 yep. Fucking Batmobiles. Anyway, um, you doing yeah. anything? You've been doing anything else? Is awesome. Uh, it I is recommend it. There's nothing more satisfying than there being a huge horde of enemies that you take one slash through and blood goes everywhere and they all die. And then they just keep funneling in. There were sections where we would, they would be coming in from above and dropping down a ledge. So we're just standing underneath the ledge and they just drop down and we hit them and they keep dropping down. <laughs> they just keep <laughs> coming stop. and going. You just stand in there just slashing away at them. It's a waterfall of body parts. Yeah. Good yeah, Vermin- Vermintide 2 is good. We should play more. It's thirty dollars too. Like that's it's yeah, it's not, not even it's full good. AAA price. Well, what what got me is it has the Warhammer title on it. Yeah. That's what I, caught me like a Warhammer game. Yeah, an RTS. Yeah, it's a real time strategy. Oh, is it RTS? Oh, I thought didn't that have to do with like Space Marines? They yeah. they have different <laughs> ones. Yeah, okay. But yes, I think the initial one was. So is Warhammer's like a universe or like a like a timeline or like Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Um I don't Somebody know. Explain that to us. Yeah, I don't I don't like that because there's I like Warhammer, what, what is it, like twenty thousand or something? Well, if I remember right, Warhammer's also a tabletop as well. Oh, so is it a brand? Like a Dungeons and Dragons almost or something? Like something more broad like that? Um, yeah. Yeah, like there's miniatures and stuff for it. Okay. Mm. But yeah, I mean, it's. I, I think it comes from it being its own universe, which would make sense then for Vermintide. I never thought of it that way. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're fighting rats. Like, yeah, uh, fighting, like rats and dudes. Like D&D medieval. will have its Straight own universe medieval. that you'll have different styles of games pop in of. Okay, that make you okay. Dystopian science fantasy universe. That's uh, 40,000. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the tabletop one. Okay. Yeah, that's the tabletop. Because I know it's supposed to be really expensive, some of those miniatures. But then again, miniatures tend to not be cheap if you get nice ones, which is really weird because they're tiny. Fucking tiny. The detail. It's all about detail. It's all about that detail. I had a buddy who started getting also, into painting those. Get to zoom in. My God, like you have a magnifying glass, super fine tip paintbrush. Yeah. And, whew. <laughs> I was going to say, it's also, you're not paying for just the miniature. You're paying for a personal connection. You like the way it looks. Yeah. You want that to yeah. be your character. Yeah. It's 500 bucks, buddy. And then the DM yeah. says, fuck you in the first five minutes. Yeah. yeah. This class is <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't really deal with snake kin. <laughs> Snaking. Uh, oh my god alright so Vermintide other than that um, I've been kind of playing a lot of PUBG lately yeah I've noticed you've been on a kick of that. that yeah I think it's because I'm getting sick of Rocket League so that's like the only other <laughs> game I could gravitate towards it's like multiplayer and stuff so that's going to last a month or two and then oh fuck all we got Siege yeah. then I'll go through like a big yeah I'll go through a Siege phase and like a ignoring everybody else and playing the binding of isaac phase or whatever but <laughs> but i did get a chance um this week they had a experimental beta test of a new map the working title of the map is called savage and it is a smaller map it is i believe a quarter of the size of the other two maps i think it's I either a half or a yeah quarter. it's a quarter it's a quarter yeah. it's a lot smaller 
and it's set in like, uh, it's set in like a jungle. Kind of looks like uh, kind of looks like Vietnam or something. Like a jungly with like the huts and the the buildings and stuff. But it was pretty unfinished. Like I was surprised that they let the testing out this early. There were still buildings that had gray box textures and stuff. Um, all of the buildings didn't have anything in them at all. It was just like the structures uh, with the textures of the, the floors and whatever, but they didn't have like any of the furniture or anything like that in any of the, any of the buildings. It was just loot. It just kind of felt shell. Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could tell immediately it was unfinished, but man, this map is going to be great. I loved it. There are That's some... There are some very important things, and I and I hope they keep some of these things. Um, with the smaller map size, the circle f moved slower in comparison because it still took the same amount of time to you know narrow the circle down. So I was able. You can you can actually run faster than the circle closes in, which I think was great. I think that was really good. Um, so that means as long as you're moving, you'll be okay. Pretty much, yeah. There's there's not going to be... I don't think... I only got to play probably three matches. I didn't get to play a lot. But I would never felt like I was constantly chasing a circle like I do in some of the other... with the other maps. Like, you're not going to be running for 20 minutes hoping that you make it. <laughs> because the map just isn't that big. And the circles move slower. So that was really nice. So is it the same time to finish a game? Uh, I think on average they run a little shorter. Um, okay. I'm really bad at PUBG, so I didn't get to end game. But um, uh, yeah, um, Delaz. Was... Yeah, Delaz was saying that it seems to be similar length. Um, as mm -hmm. he just put in chat. Uh, the beginning a lot of people die off and then there's a tedious amount of time where not much happens mm. and then as it gets smaller again it's to the final 20 people okay gotcha but um one of the key things that i liked about this was there was loot everywhere you couldn't drop into like a complex of buildings and not come out of there with an ar really it was like you you got in there you got all the loot you needed really quickly and you could just move on which was that was such a breath of fresh air for me because so much of the pub pubg experience is you know am i going to get to drop in an area that has a decent enough weapon that i can actually keep playing the match whereas yep. this one is drop wherever you want more or less you pretty much will get what you need to get by and then you can start playing. So it seemed like you could just drop wherever and there were a lot of other people and you can immediately engage those other people in that area. So it made That's the beginning nice. of the game really, really good. That's real nice. Because, I mean, so, that's, um, that's the reason I uninstalled is just because I, I got yeah. tired of dropping in, like, in populated areas too and finding, mm -hmm. like, a pan and some bandages. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, instead of having these matches where you spend the first 20 or 30 minutes of the game just trying to find the loot you need, this one you can find that immediately and then spend the rest of that match time uh, either avoiding or seeking out the other players and actually engage them, which the way I like to play is seek out all the other players and engage them. Notice I didn't say kill them. I said engage them because I'm usually the one that dies from this, but that's the way I like to play. So that's how I'm going to play it. But it seemed, it just seemed a lot faster paced, at least in the, the early half of the game or whatever. But the map itself is good. Uh, aside from the way it changes how the game plays, uh, it, it looks nice. I like the setting. The jungle is cool. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of trees and foliage and, uh, there's there's a lot of visually to get in the way for those super long distance fights to kind of maybe discourage that a little bit. Okay. Is there much elevation difference? Like the yes, there is the a desert lot of map elevation difference. Good. Yeah, it's it's like all of the trees and foliage and all that stuff from the first map they had, kind of mixed with the the verticality and the mountain mountainous areas of that second map. 
but it's not as sprawling and open as as either of them really in spots because there are so many little building complexes and and trees and stuff everywhere. It so, really seemed uh, it just it was just more interesting. So, do you think that since it sounds like this may be a little anti-sniping, that the crate drops will lose their value? Like people won't be actively hunting them on the new map. Um, There's other good know. weapons. I mean, snipers and crew jobs. Yeah, I mean, I mean, some, I haven't explored but... the entire map all the way through. You know, I didn't see all of the areas of the map. Um, it's not like there aren't any spots that you could snipe. I'm just saying that it's there's less sprawling openness. There's still a lot of sprawling openness, especially compared to other shooters. You know, this is still a battle royale game. It's still a giant map, even if it's a quarter of the size of the other map. That's still a huge map. And they were still dropping the with the hunt. Map? Oh, there you go. That's a good question. What? I said, do you think this is the best map? Do you think there's a reason to play on the other maps besides them being bigger? Um, like, okay, imagine I, if they put I, in a map selection, right? Imagine they put yeah. in a Rocket League selection. Will people yeah. pick the other maps over this one? I could see people still picking that first map. I think a lot of people are just real comfortable with that map because they know it so well at this point. Hmm. Um. I, I don't know. I'm not an expert at PUBG. I personally think I would like the, that one more than the other two because, you know, of all the things we've been talking about the past, you know, whatever. But um, I could see a lot of people preferring it, really. I've uh, Most of the things I've heard or read about it seem to be positive. So I really, really hope, uh, I hope it all works out. <laughs> I'd like to see him start cranking out. I shouldn't say cranking out because there's no way you can do these fast, but more right. maps. <laughs> yeah. And start bringing in maybe a selection thing, not where you yourself get to choose the map, but maybe, okay, mm -hmm. all hundred people are dropped in. You get the choice between these two maps vote, like mm -hmm. what Halo used to do, where there was kind of a, like you have idea. a little bit of control. The key being that there's more than just two maps to choose from. Otherwise, everybody might always pick the same one. Yes. But yes. Well, I'm saying you only offer up. You two. have it cycle a certain way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah that. Well, which, that would be a good idea. Which Halo? Because I remember Reach had the option to pick, but Halo 3 was a veto. So if they just showed you the map, you hit X, you're like, I don't want that one. Yes, and that's but another way of that. doing it, which is kind of fun. Hmm. Where if like maybe 60% of the people veto, it goes to a different map. And if you have four or five maps in the hopper, it's still random. You're not hmm. saying, I don't want map one, I get now two. So it's still... I like that. As long as there's not a map, yeah. and you would know which map sucks. If one of your maps get vetoed yeah. 90% of the time, time to rework that bitch. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I've So yeah, I new map playing. is good. Um, and then we played, me and you played the new the new mode. Yes. Um, what's it called again? Tequila Sunrise? Tequila Sunrise. So it's uh, the newer map, the desert map. What's it called? What's the name of that map? Desert oh, Miramar? Map. Miramar, yes. Desert map. Desert map, whatever. <laughs> Learn the terminology. Um, new map, it's all shotguns and melee. So what? Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. It's that all sounds shotguns ridiculous. Shotguns but one thing they do do, it's important to call out. Do-do. He said do-do. Yeah, do-do. Um, <laughs> if they show you the first circle while you're in the plane. Yes, and that, that actually happened on the new map, I think, too, during that test. Yeah, that that being melee and shotguns, that that makes a big difference. Yeah. The one thing that That's, I thought was weird, you find a lot of shotguns, a lot of 12 gauge ammo. I was finding a lot of 762 ammo. Yeah, I'm like, why the like fuck random, am I finding this? Random stuff you could never need in that mode, just still laying around everywhere. Were there forexes and stuff? No, I didn't find any sets. Um I don't remember. Okay. So I think what they did was they uh, I think they just, they messed with certain, I don't know how they have everything categorized for the loot drops, but they just messed with like the percentage chance of them dropping. So I think it was a much higher chance of getting armor too. I think they like up the armor and helmet drop rate, and then obviously drastically increased the shotgun drop rate. I know um, some of our buds, like d and them, when they were playing, they weren't finding health at all the first few times they were playing it. 
And when we were running through, I ended up with like health packs yeah, left stuff. and right. Yeah, I found stuff like mostly like normal. So there has to be slider based where we can't turn this on and this off. We're just going to raise percentages and it just was a shitty drop or something then. Mm -hmm. So we, we didn't get very far in those matches. I would like to see how this plays out towards the end game, especially when you start moving circles and stuff like what happens when you get to the part that's not in the city with a yeah. bunch of shotguns <laughs> like, and the one i did the I best know. in it was that the circle was starting to convene yeah. like outside of everything and it was one of these situations where i seen two guys and I'm like oh fuck yes i'm up behind them i shoot the two and then realize they were actually three <laughs> so as you guess <laughs> it didn't go well so you, in that mode, I, I didn't get a chance to even look. I didn't even know that mode existed. Where, could you see people just running around, but no, you can't do anything about them? Yep. Kind of, yeah. I was I was peeking at the top of like a really tall building, just like looking around to see where people are. You know, like I try to shoot at a couple of them, but it's like, nah, it's not going to work from this range. Yeah, I was, I was running beside this long building, and this dude's like hitting a pellet in me every time. So my health's barely going yeah. down. So I'm not <laughs> worried. I just keep running like, well, fuck this dude. I get around yeah. the corner. And I'm like, well, I know he's coming. So then I wait a second or two, turn around, boom, popped him right in the face. Because, <laughs> yeah, it, well, it's just the shotguns, you know the range. Like you said, you'll watch people. You're not going to shoot. Mm -hmm. You know you can't kill them. You're just going to watch them. Mm -hmm. I watched one guy cross the road. I watched someone chase him while shooting, crossing the road. I then watched someone chase him while shooting, crossing the road. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's silly. It's fun, it's but cool. I wouldn't want it to be permanent. If it was permanent, everyone no, would quit no. playing it. But I like I like the yeah. fact that they're introducing these event games. And yeah, I know Fortnite's doing the same thing. I think it's really cool. It keeps it fresh. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like when Rocket League introduced their modes. Yeah. Remember mm -hmm. what was that mode they introduced? It was like random modifiers. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh um, shit. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that one. Yeah, that, that, that was. They had. They had four, I think it was, four presets of like oh different indicator settings. That slow mo yep. one. When yeah, anyone got close to the ball. The closer, the closer you got to the ball, the slower time would move. Oh so every God. time somebody got close to the ball, everybody's time would, everything would go in slow motion. It was crazy. Everybody hated that one, though. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to find out I'm slightly masochistic because what people hate, I, I'm liking that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, there's something wrong. There. But there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Well, we've we determined this. It's yeah. Fine. We've so accepted I, you. Anything else you've been up to? Um, I played some Rocket League. Not very much. Like I said, I've been getting kind of burnt out on it lately. But they had a new update, and it's a good update. It's a tournament update. Um, I played the, the tournament beta a little bit. The tournament system is awesome. We talked about it a little while back. Mm -hmm. Um, it's that's good. It's good stuff. I like the visuals. I really yeah. like the visuals of it. The way they redid the scoreboard on it. They reworked some maps. Like I think it was Aquadome. Looks beautiful now. Thanks oh, does to it seems so much up. better. I haven't, oh, I, I haven't played it since then. I haven't played it since the, uh, since the update. I did play the Starbase one. I still don't like that one. The Something. I don't know what it is. It's the colors and there's something about the lighting and the colors and everything. It just doesn't doesn't work for me yeah i liked it better as the octagon i oh, like the octa map i don't like non-standard maps <laughs> see you're the reason they took out neo tokyo and neo tokyo the was the reason. best thing <laughs> ever <laughs> all right hold on though neo tokyo was good i liked neo tokyo that was special that one i mean i think that played well i don't know there was some really cool aerial shit you could do off of neo tokyo because of yeah, the way those side yeah. things were that too and how tall it was yes loved it i just i don't think octagon worked though just because it was small and literally every bounce just ended up centering the ball to <laughs> yeah to a net oh Kinda see the old waistline effect octo maps yeah. the thing when you see your teammates clearing it you just jump at the goal and fly and there's a <laughs> decent chance you're going to be able to get a shot off on it yeah but yeah Though, so what about you guys? What what have you guys been up to game wise this week? I kind of was in the same rut you were, where Rocket mm -hmm. League and pubs, but 
recently, well, just today, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to play some Boulder's Gate. I've played this game so many times. I don't know how, yeah. but I just love creating the game or the player and just playing through it a little bit. So I'm like, oh shit, I got to install. So what do I do when I'm installing a game? The same thing I do anytime I'm installing any game. I pop up the Binding of Isaac. Ah. Uh, that game. Always go back to that game. It's the perfect, like it takes no network. You set it up to let downloads go automatically and you play around. There's and, not been a game in the history of existence that I haven't, that I've, uh, that I come back to as much as that game. Well, in my always long, long spurts of time where I don't play that game. And then I always end up coming back to it, playing a few rounds or getting into it for like a week or two at a time. But you're it good is, at it. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that good at it. I'm really not. Like I didn't get out of the basement one. Oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> like it was the first time I played it in oh. so long, and I'm like, oh god, I'm I'm bad. You you fall off quick. It the last time I played, I noticed that it's like, wow, well, I'm having the, a much harder time with this than I used to. The community updates, like in the third room, I was like, what's this enemy? I've never seen this enemy before. So, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of new stuff, and I, I think there's one. I don't know if it's happened yet, but there was like one more. And then I think that's the last one for it, for the community stuff. And that's fine. They've added so yeah, much to that they've, game. There's so much. There's so much. I wish more games would do that. Halo kind of did that for a little bit, but not to the depth that Binding of Isaac did, where make whatever fucking enemies and item, items you want, and the best mm -hmm. ones chosen from the community will get updated every patch into the game. Yeah. That was Such a cool, a cool feature. That's really cool. But yeah, I was doing some Boulder's Gate, some Isaac. Only other thing I did that was different was um, did some Jackbox last weekend. Jackbox hey. 4. Speaking Jackbox of... Jackbox is always a good time. After yeah. cast, stick around. We're going to do some Jackbox if anyone's interested. But um, Jackbox 4, uh, we did on stream a while ago. Um, and it, there was a couple good things, but it seemed largely to miss. Yeah, 4, four overall, I, did, I wasn't as into as 3 going back through it there's some fun shit in there especially if you know the people you're playing with monster seeking monster was that dating sim game fuck that was fun really i really enjoyed that there's yeah, actually some, there's some gamesmanship strategy going on with it gamesmanship yeah it's if things get downhill and we're getting tired of playing some of the other stuff we might pop that up tonight to show you there's some strategy hmm. involved that's kind of fun Hmm. but survive the internet this is possibly one of my favorite games jackbox has ever put out if they would have put this on three three would have been the holy grail of jackbox <laughs> yeah. so um for survive the internet what you're doing is um they'll ask you a question like um what makes a puppy so cute and you might put <laughs> all their cute little faces are so adorable and um, what you would respond that, and then I would see your answer and it would say, okay, what would be an awful headline for this to be a response to? So maybe it'd be <laughs> something about two children lost during a fire. So you would yeah. put like the most drastic <laughs> headline ever to try to make this sound awful. And me being a genuinely awful human being, I was really good at this game and I really enjoyed this game. <laughs> You would. Xbox is really good at bringing out the absolute worst in people yes. and rewarding you for it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the, key, <laughs> that's the key point. This is a reward. And the one thing we learned on the last time we streamed Jackbox 4, especially, mm -hmm. if there is a game that allows you to draw, there will be dicks. There will be dicks. <laughs> yep. There will be lots dicks and as lots as far as the dicks. eye can see. It doesn't stop. They just keep coming at you. So many. Well, hopefully oh, I won't go there. That was too easy. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but what about you, than... Dark? What have you been up to? Yeah. game wise this week. Uh, let's see here. I guess I'll start with Sea of Thieves. Then want to go into yeah. that one? Yeah. yeah. All right. So I'm curious because Thieves... I've heard mixed some mixed stuff. I know you liked it a lot at first. I liked the beta because <laughs> it was fun to play a new game. I think it, it you know, it's any game you play when you start off, you're like, oh, this is, I mean, most games you play are like, oh, this is pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
immediately issues popped up in the beta that uh, people were noticing, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's very little content and in the beta, and people were thinking, you know, how is this going to relate to the full game? Anyway, game came out, like, what, two weeks ago at this point? Two or uh, three, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the thing also is most... One of the coolest things about this game is it launched on Xbox Game Pass, right? You could trial yes. the game for free, the entire game, for two weeks as it launched. No wait time or anything, which is what I did because I had suspicions that the game was not up to par for a $60 game. It's $60. 60 $60. I didn't realize it was a full... Yeah. Full yeah. Mamma Jamma $60 game. <laughs> yes. So, got the thing, right? Been playing it for two weeks. And I have to say, I'm not, I'm not renewing that game pass because I'm not, I'm done with it. Like I, I can be done with the game. I could have been done with the game in literally three hours. Like, oh wow. So the way it boiled down to right is the game needs reworks in just about every single aspect and mechanic in the entire game. And mm. basically, the only good part of it is driving a ship. Driving a ship feels good. Like it's pretty fun to be on there with you know a crew. Uh, changing sails or driving it, hitting a rock and like freaking out and trying to repair the bottom before you sink, you know, mm. messing around with friends. Like there's some cool, there's some cool details in there. Like if you get, you, you know, you play your instruments and the instrument, oh my God, the music in the game is pretty good. But, um, right. You can drink. And uh, once you drink a couple of, once you're a couple of drinks in, all of a sudden your music doesn't start sounding so good. It's sounds a little <laughs> bit off key. Maybe not on the right tempo. There, there's some pretty cool. I heard there could cool be some puke details. buckets involved. Their puke yeah. buckets are deadly in PvP. You can store them and throw them at your enemy and blind them. They're deadly. All right. I like that. Yeah. Like there's that. good details. And, you know, there's mechanics in there that, that'll work. But for the most part, I'm going to give this, like, if I was to give this a rating as it is now, I'd say it's probably like a 3 out of 10. It's it's Ugh. not good. It's really bad. It's below average for, for again, it's $60. That's another reason why mm -hmm. I'm giving it such a low rating. For I've heard there's just not much to do. Like there's, there's one, nothing. one or two like quest missions. There's and one everything quest else item. is just like, if you happen to encounter somebody, you can try to fight them, and then they might just mm -hmm. run away, and you can't catch up to them. Yeah, that's exactly it. There's mm -hmm. one quest type in the game that's disguised through three different objects. Uh, this is fetch quest the game. What you do mm -hmm. is you go to a hub, you pick up a quest that says go here and grab something and bring it back and give it to me, and they disguise it in sort of a way that's like there's three different types of quests there's not it's only a fetch quest every single faction is a fetch quest you either fetch them a chest to sell you either set fetch them like um an animal or you fetch them uh, uh bounty skulls but either way it's you go you do something you come back that's that is the entire game and then there's one other extra thing in there that's uh it's it's called a I'm just going to call it a raid for the sake of it. You do a bigger thing and you get bigger reward. Um, it's called a skeleton fortress and you go and you fight waves of skeletons. Probably, I think it's like in between five and 10 waves of skeletons. Some of them are kind of special, slightly different. And then you get more reward. Um, and then you get the reward. You take it back to the outpost and sell it again. That's, that's it. That's, that's the whole game loop. At least and the, yet, the horde mode sounds like it could be decent at least. It's not, it's not oh. fun. Um, <laughs> the i okay again it, it, it's this is all subjective too like this is my personal take on it you know so i go through there and i i do the raid and it's just killing waves of enemies but the thing is it's still just skeletons like and once you do it once you 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 know what it is the first time i think i first did it with bird me and bird did it in the beta and uh we did the raid got our loot and that's it and it doesn't change after that the first time it was kind of fun like it's it's definitely more difficult it seems like the ai for that is slightly upped a bit you die quicker they all, all the ai in that game has aim bots um like <laughs> you can be sailing literally a quarter a mile away from an island and there'll be like a random shot you just hear it in the distance you're like wondering where it came from and if you look at the right island there's a skeleton like just on the beach with the cannon shooting at you and he'll hit you he'll hit you from a quarter mile away with the cannon they're the best that you can't beat them um, wow. But yeah, I mean, once you do the, once you do the raid, that's it. You, you take the money back and that's, there's no more fun after that. And mm. all of this is just for cosmetics too. In the end, it's just to dress up your character yeah, differently, you know? Yeah. I've heard and, that the only wow. good thing about the game is the ship to ship combat, but 
it's really rare you actually come across other people's ships. Like it's not mm -hmm. frequent enough for that to be the selling point. Servers seem kind of small for the, the point of the game. I think it's maxed at, I want to say it's six ships up to 32 players, depending on the types of ships. Because uh, there's oh. two different types of ships. One of them has four players, the other one has two players. Mm -hmm. um, and if let's say you get more of the lesser player ships, then you're going to have less people in your lobby. But even then, you said that you heard that's the best part of the game. It's still not good. It's just not good. Their mechanics are just not good. And they're, they're working on them. They recently released some, some stuff about how they're going to be changing stuff. But currently, the way the ship to ship works is that you, everyone still spawn, like you kill someone on the ship, right? They still spawn back on their ship. And you can, I don't know if you guys remember back in Call of Duty days, but you could directly influence where people spawned based on where you were looking. Yeah. Um, you can do that even more so in this because you're on a ship, right? It's so small. So mm -hmm. I had a friend who we would run duos and we were like, we, we, we wouldn't lose a fight just because we knew this and our aim was good and the game's cross play. And if someone's playing on controller, then they can't aim as well, you know, and there's, there's issues there too. But, um, basically what would happen is we would just sit on the two decks of the ship, look at a specific spot, wait for them to spawn and then one shot them because we both had a shotgun. And there's infinite ammo. So what it, what it came down to is me and my friends, uh, my, my, our strategies were just to sit on their deck and kill them over and over while constantly just, just talking trash because it also, has, it also has proximity chat. So anybody can hear oh, you. Oh, God. <laughs> so, the most cancerous of chat styles. Uh, it's I, yeah. So, I kind of I like the proximity chat thing, but I also kind of hate it. Uh, yep, that's the strategy. Just sit on there, trash talk them, and as soon as, basically, as soon as they quit, you know they quit because their ship starts to sink. <laughs> so we sit on there and we just, we get them to quit and then take the loot or any did loot you, around them or anything. Did you trash talk them in your pirate accent? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you For scallywags? Sure. I... Right. You'd be, uh, be boring Davy Jones the locker over and over. Why don't you just hit that off that four there, boy? <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, it's about Jeez, that, was awesome. <laughs> that was fucking terrible. God, that <laughs> no. was fantastic. But um, to me, this game, yeah. since it needs so much work, I don't see why they just don't leave it as a permanent pass game. I think it would be it perfect is. on that. Mm. Like if you just keep that on the pass. I would never pay 60 bucks for it, but to be able to get it for free for being part of the Xbox Pass, I think that's a good idea. It is. It's always going to be yeah. on there. That won't, that won't go away. Uh, but the, it's, it's $10 per month, so you know you, you get it for the $10 whoa, per month. 10 a month? Huh? I thought it was supposed to be 5 a month. I might be wrong, but I think it's 10. Oh, but I mean, you also, you also get other, other games, too. Especially Actually, if you you're right. Xbox, you get more stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember thinking it's the price of two full price games a year. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. You're right. Yeah. And and here's the other thing too is the the, the problem with the game is they've been in development for 4 years, right? The yeah. amount of content that they've put into the game over the course of 4 years worries me about how quickly they're going to fill the game with better content. Cuz right. if, yeah. if if they even like okay, I think my view of this is the game is about 10% done. It seems like it has a framework, right? Mm -hmm. And they did 10% in 4 years. Even if they had another four years, if they go at the same rate that they've been going, they're not going to get very much more done. Well, the one thing to give reassurance to when it comes to development yeah, the cycles, first, the first bit is always way more work. Because yes. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. For sure. For physics sure. and the, the art and all that kind of stuff. Adding oh, boy, content is always easier than the rest. That but is always the easiest stuff. part. Yeah. This, as long this as game the doesn't have. All work. Yeah. Reworking is still okay though. It's when you're initially trying to piece everything together, it sucks so much of your so, life out of you. I, yeah, I don't know that's, anything that's, about the developers. Is it a really small team? It's rare. They're they have like about 200 employees somewhere. They're oh. they're you know it's a big big company. rare's an established, well established. Okay, I, I didn't yeah. know who I've heard of rare. I didn't I didn't I didn't know that they were the ones behind it. Mm -hmm. That's odd. And it has that rare feel though. You know, it has that goofy sort of fun yeah. feeling to it. A squirrel on that. deck with a sword. I mean, sorry, conquer what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A pirate squirrel tail accessory? Yes, I take it. <laughs> that would be great. If you actually, at, you get the top grade loot. All of a sudden, all you find out, you get nothing but a squirrel costume. It's conquer. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so <laughs> no. fucking awesome.
It's okay. It's better than their current grind. Their current grind is just leveling for turning stuff in. Mm -hmm. And actually, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but they kind of did a very deceptive thing where they said that the real game starts at end game. You know, like a lot of games do this, right? They say, once you get done with this, or once you do this, then the real game starts, right? Mm -hmm. They said that for if you grind a max level, right, you unlock a new area where you can go to. And they say that the real game begins there. Someone did that already. Mm -hmm. um, they got there. There's right. nothing Shit. new. There's nothing there. There's, yeah. It almost so, seems like they, they were hoping it would take people longer to do that so they had time to develop so. the part that needed to I be there. So. To and yeah, the thing is, too, uh, the way the guy, the guy who got there did it in a very piratey way. But he, the way he got to max level That so was quickly, awesome. Yes, I love the story. Yes. The mm -hmm. way he got to max level so quickly is he was a Twitch streamer. And he was basically what he was doing is he was using his audience to get mm -hmm. loot for him and invite him into their games as they were about to turn it in. So he would get the, oh, the level ups wow. for it, yeah. but didn't do any of the work. So he was just lobby hopping <laughs> and getting rewards. That's, That's how really he got smart. there so fast. That's yeah. Funny. And it's very it, fitting. It's very piratey. <laughs> yeah, you have to, any anytime you're building any kind of system like that, you have to just accept the fact that the internet is going to break it and hack it in some way. Absolutely. The only thing that would have been more piratey is if he was a non-streamer and he was jumping into all the streamers' games, wrecking their ships and taking their bounty. <laughs> Ultimate stream sniper. That would have been awesome. That would have been pretty good. Actually, I wonder how much stream sniping happens on that, but... It's very hard to snipe a lobby. I've tried. All right. It, well, I guess it is small lobbies. Yeah, and it's also global. There's no region locking. Like, I got matched with people from Germany. I got matched with people from Puerto Rico. Uh, mm -hmm. There was some, a couple of people from uh, South Africa or somewhere like that. Oh, wow. It, it's global. So, it, like, you, it's not like setting your region to U.S. West and, you know, cutting down on a lot of people. All right. So, outside of that um, terrible experience you had on sea, what else have you been up to? Oh, let's see here. I play the normal, I play a little bit of Fortnite here and there sometimes. Uh, I also got into Celeste because I heard Tom talk about it very briefly. I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of good things about that game. I know so Tom I decided to pick it. it up. And it's good. It's a really good game. The music is beautiful. The levels are really cool. Um, the, the game does this really, really good thing where it gives you, it gives you a jump and it gives you a dash, right? Um, and what it does, it never changes that, but it changes the levels and it gives you new mechanics based around the two things you have. And it kind of opens up in terms of what you can actually do with it and what's around you. So it does a really good job of that. And that's why I kind of fell in love with it. And, um, I got it because, you know, I heard good things and now I'm just about a hundred percent done with it. I've gone through beaten all the levels except for one. And I've also gotten all the collectibles, and I'm just about done. And so I you're doing what Tom time. said last week was impossible. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but it's fun. Like I, 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 the dying isn't really the the bad part because it's it's just the progression just feels good. Yeah, it feels good Tom, to beat a lot. Tom, Tom, if you're listening, get good. <laughs> Dark Soul did it. Why can't you do it? Because Dark Soul's good. Tom's not. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I still ha I've yet to look this game up. Um, I think you would love I, the music. I, I do enjoy platformers, so I will have to. I will have to give it a look. Yeah, it's... I tend to not. You don't like platformers? Two uh, D platformers. It takes something really special to get me excited about a two D oh. platformer. Mm. That's true. And this game is pure pixel too. There's no real depth to the game in terms of graphic fidelity besides uh, the, their color palettes and like kind of level designs are pretty nice Pic pixel old old you know retro aesthetic pixel games can have their own um i don't know it can look really beautiful well what it's, was that one that microsoft showed off um uh, last e3 oh yeah the um, the last night yes it looked gorgeous i've Oh. I've almost never seen a game that looked that good as a as a pixel pixel game. Yeah, they did, they did a lot of they did a lot of weird things where 
they kind of played with the 2D with kind of a 3D thing to it. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to describe it. That was that was gorgeous, beautiful, gorgeous really cool. trailer. I normally don't get sucked in by the artsy, fartsy, fancy, smancy, <laughs> you hipster guys stuff, but man, that looked good. Excuse me. <laughs> Look at your beard, sir. <laughs> That's and your style of coffee and your what, taste in video games you can't you're not allowed to talk about coffee because you drink instant coffee because i ain't no okay. hipster <laughs> at least drink like shitty folgers or something nah i'm good fuck <laughs> folgers that takes a real coffee maker i use a keurig so i just use it for the hot water give me that instant but anyway Damn you, Adam. What else have you been up to, Souls? Looks like you, um, Astroneer? I am yeah, not familiar okay, so with this. Uh, Astroneer is a game called, or not called, it's a game, um, one of those uh, open world sort of sandbox games, kind of drop into a planet, you got nothing, you gotta start building up cars and a base and stuff like that and build, you know, all that stuff. Um... The game is fun, and it's been in development for a couple of years, actually. It's, it's actually early access. Uh, played the newest patch on it, and it's really good. The whole basis is, I don't know if there's a story behind it, but you basically land on a planet and you start building. But the cool part is, is there's a space travel. So you're actually in a, in a, ga not a galaxy, what's the word? A solar system. And you hmm. can travel between different planets with a spaceship. You build your spaceship, yeah. you, have to, you have to mine for fuel, you have to mine for all that stuff, uh, metal to build your stuff, and then you kind of just go from there. It's hmm. fun. So it's, it's pretty, No Man's Sky? Uh, no, not No Man's Sky. It's not infinite. It's not like an infinite thing. You're just in a thing. Uh, but it's probably better. I don't know. You can't, you can't fly a ship. It, it's, more, it's more of a chill game. It's, all, it's super early. It's like alpha something. Oh, okay. I was, was going to say it. It got kind of a lot of hype uh, last year, and the, I think the general consensus was it seems like a really cool game, but it's still very early in the process. So yeah, yeah, no. I think it could be really cool when it finishes. Kind of like Subnautica or uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Forest, which is coming out soon. Yeah, too. the Forest comes out uh, April thirtieth. Really, it actually has a date. They, on final, the they finally announced the date. Yeah, it's by the end of April it'll be out. So man, that game's been going forever. Yes, it yeah. has. I've had it That's... forever, and I'm I'm really I'm ready for that release. I know they add a lot of stuff on this last update. They they they've actually been good about updating it regularly, mm. um, which is I've been trying shocking. To play it too much. Been trying, to, yeah. I've been trying not to play it too much because I want to kind of experience it. You know, when it releases, and not already be tired of it. I'm used to games that come out that early and are in early access that long that eventually and then just it, get abandoned. It just loses traction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's cool to see they're actually going to release it. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it's an an actual like good release, and it's not just them, like you said, just kind of <laughs> calling it done. You know, and Let's put a stamp on this sack yeah. of shit. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully yeah. it's hopefully it's complete, and uh, supposedly there's a lot of new stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out when it releases for sure. Yeah, definitely looks cool. Uh, and, say, lastly, the last game I played was uh, Final Fantasy 15, which oh, uh, you're still that playing game, that. Yes, it's long. Like you can do a lot in it, and it has multiplayer, which I haven't even played. So, oh. um, that game scale is on a different level. Like I think <laughs> even even different than Monster Hunter, right? Like you know, you're fighting huge creatures in Monster Hunter. This Mm -hmm. There was a part in this game that kind of went a little Metal Geary. There's this like Ooh. massive snake that's like robotic, and it's about the size of a city that you that it's chasing you while you're on the back of a snowmobile shooting at it with a machine gun. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's 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 crazy. It's so it's so fun though, and it's just it's kind of like a very a very what's the word i don't remember the word but something it just kind of like takes you it just pulls you into the world and just like engulfs you in it right captivating it's a very captivating game to just keep playing and exploring and mm -hmm. the characters are very they're it, it it handles time very well like you know a lot of games kind of take place over 
uh, it kind of takes place over, I don't know, a week, maybe, most games? Mm -hmm. I don't know, somewhere around there. This game's time scale is much bigger. I don't want to spoil how, how much time there is in this game. But I it, like it has a prequel movie. The game has a prequel movie to it, an entire oh, CG oh. like hour and a half movie. Oh wow! Uh, well, that, yeah, whole thing made by Square <laughs> Enix. Um, so it's like pretty nice CGI and stuff. Uh, and then on top of that, that takes place when your character is a kid, and it's kind of focusing on your dad. And then the actual game is you as an as a uh, like I think you're twenty or something. But yeah, really fun game. I really enjoyed it so far. I also haven't beaten that game yet still, but the world is just, its it, you can just get lost in it for sure. If it's like any of the other Final Fantasy games, and I've never been a Final Fantasy guy. I think the one I played the most of was uh, 10 when it came out on the PS2. Mm -hmm. I've never played any of them. This is the first and, one I played. Um, oh, really? Mm -hmm. What happened was is I played the game a lot for like a long time, and then I bought a strategy guide for it and realized I was only halfway through the game and I was like, ah, I've had enough. <laughs> I don't have time for this. I'm 12 <laughs> or whatever, however old I was at the time. But I was like, ah, it's no, no. I'm a grinder when it comes to those kind of games. I'm um, mm -hmm. not as much of a grinder as Dobby, but I'll, I'm one of those where if I'm not getting <laughs> through an area easily, I'll just stick a little bit farther behind get way the fuck leveled up and then just roll through now That's i don't know how much do Dark Souls. i don't know how much you can do that in the newer final fantasies though i've kind you of bounced off can. of them since 12 because it was mm -hmm. that whole new combat more real-time system than turn-based and from what i've heard actually from other people who have played final fantasy 15 it's not a typical final fantasy game like they say it's pretty much totally different than all the other ones it's it's good i like it a lot of people don't like it though because of that but because i never played the other ones like i my only opinion is on this one compared you know as a solo game well 12 in them since 12 they've been really different anyway because like i said it's went to more of a real time where traditionally it was set stage you're not moving around when it's your turn you hit the attack button you tell him who to attack and he attacks hmm where now it seems more active. It's very active. It's fun. But yeah, that's... Also, um, have you gotten to the chapter 14 at this point? I am... A, I'm at the last boss. But there's... Okay, so the other thing too is... There's the DLC in that game covers characters in your party at different points in their lives and at different points in their, in their story arc for the game. So it kind of goes, I, what I did is I got to the final boss and now I'm playing the DLC to kind of fill in like some puzzle pieces there. And then I'm going to beat the game. Did the game story make sense to you? Cause I know at, at one of the chapters it was so bad, then you had to watch the story or the movie to know what was going on that they patched in story content because it was so lacking. I've not played a pre-patch. Okay. So I've only seen it and I, yeah, to me, it all makes sense. Okay. So they must, they must have done a good job at least patching it. Yeah. Um, Cause when I first heard about that, I'm like, hold on. So I have to watch a movie to understand what they left out in the game. Like that sounds yeah. really bad. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. I've heard that too. And I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty tempted to watch the movie though. Like I haven't actually watched it yet, but the the world is interesting enough for me to want to actually take the time to watch that all right but that's but, pretty much it for me all right so yeah it seems like that's pretty much our week hasn't been too much um we got a little bit of news not a whole lot uh got one real quick fun one i thought was really fun PUBG <laughs> is finally suing clones um there's some mobile clones coming out from china that you know some people call fortnite a clone of PUBG, which isn't right it's not a clone i mean it's there's some way different there's enough, some but similarities yeah. but it's not a clone they are suing games where it looks like <laughs> bad model replacement and that's it yeah you jump out of a plane the crate looks like a low poly version of the crane it's just or the crates it's bad mm -hmm. 
So they've got two of those they're going to court over, which I thought's awesome. My, my favorite part of the article is they're listing some of the things that were mentioned in the suit against them. And one of them is celebratory references to chicken. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because of the, the games, you know, when you went and win a winner at chicken dinner. Apparently uh, that's a part of the lawsuit is some of that was. Can PUBG trademark clubs. that? All of a sudden, twenty. Know. They're going to get sued by the movie Twenty One. I was going to say that's the first time I ever saw that phrase was uh, movie Twenty One. Same here. Which I don't know. I hate that phrase. It's it's kind of annoying. But, but I like that movie. It was a really good movie. That was that was an alright movie. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It helped. I like Blackjack, but yeah. Uh, the Switch is getting another uh, late release big name title. Well, kind of big name. <laughs> Firewatch is coming to the Switch for you guys who like walking simulators. Oh, hmm. Um, I heard Sp Firewatch was great. And I've, I've played heard about an hour of it. I've heard it was. Oh, it was great, but not a game. I don't think it's a game. I've seen it. I've seen the thing made up multiple times. Mm -hmm. Did you say you don't think it's a game? I don't think it's a game. Like yes. it's more of a... it's an interactive story. Yeah, Someone interactive else is story. with me. <laughs> um, are you a walking simulator guy, Souls? No, uh, not really. Yes, you need to come around more <laughs> often because Adam and Tom are these artsy, fancy, hipster guys what? who like walking simulators. <laughs> I don't like all of them. I like a couple of them. And because I enjoy a good narrative from time to time. I'll go to a movie for a narrative. Fucking in my games. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. But, um, <laughs> sorry, Adam. Other news, um... <laughs> Spyro, um, there's a little more information on the Spyro the Dragon reanim reanimation, holy shit, re-release, remastering it, the whole trilogy. You, what it's, you guys think? I think it's more than just a remaster this. because it looks drastically different. Oh, yeah. It yeah. looks really good. The whole remake, hopefully, then, instead. Because I remember Josh, a few casts it's, back, it's, we're talking about some definitely janky. Seems, it definitely seems like more of a remake. I mean, even mm -hmm. just the, you go to the website and it shows like a split, you know, it shows a couple of seconds of the original game and then the screen like wipes over and it shows what it looks like now. And it looks completely different. It's like, it's kind of like PS1 a one game Colossus. versus Pixar film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It kind of got the newest shadow of the Colossus treatment from even the PS3 remaster would, to the remake. I would argue almost more than that. Yeah. I think this so. It's really drastic. It looks I think like some screenshots that don't look you wouldn't recognize the level yeah it's um it's they could have if you haven't played spyro before and they announced this as like a new game you probably wouldn't like you'd be fooled by that yeah if you didn't already know the games like it looks so much different but it looks good i'm so hyped for it like i spyro was my childhood easily because <laughs> you know what we need more of demo huh you know what we need more of mascot platformers Ooh. Mascot okay platformers. Give me okay, some more Mr. mascot Mario platformers 64. in my life. Your thing, Mr. Mario 64. You see, that that is Nintendo. Sony didn't have that, so here comes Crash. Here comes um um Crash is good. Um my god Spyro. All these guys. But yeah. So think... Nintendo the king of mascots. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but as soon as Sony tries to do something, uh, all of a sudden. What, you don't have, you have a problem with it? Well, because where were they during the PS2 and 3 and stuff? I think Spyro came out on the PlayStation 1, didn't it? Yes. And yeah. then it was left there. Uh, PS2 had like Ratchet and Clank and oh, yeah. whatever else. Ratchet and Clank's oh, fucking man. good. I like so Ratchet good. and Clank. Remake was good too. Um, Another game coming out. Spider-Man. It's it's one of these time released exclusives where it's PS4 first, later Xbox. Mm -hmm. But September seventh, yeah. new Spider Man game. Yeah. It's a timed exclusive? That's the way I was understanding. It's going to be um kind of like uh Tomb Raider was where it comes to one first. You oh, wait you wait about a year and yeah. then it comes to the other. I hope this game comes out on PC then. I did I, not see anything about PC. I saw Xbox. Yeah, but I mean like it, it Oh my god, swinging through a city as Spider-Man at 60, 144 frames? 
oh my god that's like <laughs> the dream to me man it's all about the movement systems yeah i'll <laughs> go ahead and get that on the console because i just want to play it i don't want to wait that this looks I'm really fun it looks really fun mm-hmm then again, Spider-Man 2 is still one of my favorite open world games ever. That was a fantastic mm, game. It was so good. Did you guys play Spider-Man 3, though? No. I never Spider-Man 3 it. was not a bad game. It came out on, like, the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. And I think it might have... I think it improved on Spider-Man's two, Spider-Man 2's mechanics. Oh, the really? The problem was it went off the story of Spider-Man 3, the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and there went your ship. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, oh man I, do you care about story though i care about more gameplay i i agree i've always been for a the, spider-man game nobody's playing a spider-man game for the compelling story that's true i've always been the champion it's of the gameplay if the game is fun i will play it if it has a good story that's just bonus yeah yeah no i'm in that's the fair. same boat actually um, speaking of games that I actually kind of enjoyed when I was playing, Shadow of War has officially removed all microtransactions from the game. Really weird timing for that, yeah. but they've released, removed them all. Yeah, it's weird timing. I mean, there was that... How long ago was that? When did it release? They had the backlash over February? The, the microtransactions. Was it, it was early February? Year? I thought it came out last year. It was last yeah. year. You're right. Yeah, it was I thought it came out like last 17. September. September 9th of last year? Dude, he just nailed that date. Get the fuck out of here. But yeah, it was last year. <laughs> it was last year for sure. And I remember Sorry, everyone making a know. big deal about the microtransactions. Um, Grant, mm-hmm. I didn't get incredibly deep. But yeah. I never ran too much into them. I just know the end game was a fucking grind. Yeah, that's what... Did you beat the game? No. Because I didn't because of that. Yeah, I heard yeah. There's, um, that part didn't get changed. Just all the micros are out. They said they were going to rework it. The micros aren't out yet. They said that they were going to spend time and actually rework the core mechanics of the game. Oh. Because, be yeah, nice. that was a, that was kind of another thing, though, is they said that, and it's like, they kind of just admitted to the fact that microtransactions were kind of a big part of just the total implementation. You see, I didn't feel it was... I Granted, I, like I said, I didn't beat it, but I didn't feel the micros were that big for the regular part of the gameplay. Yeah, I don't. I I got through without. I mean, I didn't. I, again, I, I didn't even look at the market transactions. Besides, you know, you have to. The only thing is, you have to open crates to even build an army with yeah. that silver. Um, mm-hmm. they said that they they're taking out the boxes completely. Not even just micro transactions. They said they're taking out the the loot boxes entirely because they realized mm-hmm. that the nemesis system is really what people came there for and no yeah, shit yeah, because yeah. it was revolutionary the first time you did it why the fuck <laughs> wouldn't you emphasize it the second time right they want money but well, i can't blame them there. Cash. um other news fortnite on ios is now open to everyone full launch okay play fortnite everywhere it's it's what's yes. going on uh, Some guys started this right. game called Night Fort, though. This is the new thing, right? Night Fort. <laughs> it's it's a thing. <laughs> is it a building game with the occasional battle royale mechanic? It is a total building <laughs> game, but it's only battle royale. <laughs> um, others we have Chrono Trigger on the PC. If you remember right, a while ago we was talking about that. It looked like it was just a mobile port brought over instead of the SNES game. They're now bringing back the SNES classics on the uh, Chrono Trigger port to PC. I think that the uh, the initial issue was with uh, the fonts. Yeah, like the fonts and the text boxes and stuff. It was pulling from like default system fonts and stuff instead of actually being how the game looked on the SNES or something. So they're yes. fixing that. Um, and then yeah, that's that's what we got, guys. That, that's a wrap. I'm ignoring that last line on our sheet that no one else can see because it seems like a duplicate. So that's all we <laughs> got for you. That's that that's a wrap. Wrap? Like a like a wrap out like a fire mixtape? No, like a wrap like a uh, chicken club. Oh. What oh, oh, okay. Or buffalo chicken wrap, you know. Ah yeah, I got okay, I got that. I can get behind that one. Buffalo chicken wrap. Yeah, I I'm, not, I'm not big on buffalo sauce. So at college, for my first quarter ever at college, I ate a buffalo chicken wrap every day for lunch. <laughs> my entire, entire first year? quarter. No, my entire first quarter. 
365 buffalo wraps no nah, it was like uh probably 90 oh that's yeah. a that's a fair share of buffalo wraps they were they were legit i can't remember if it was uh dobby or my other buddy lance that i got hooked on them um their freshman year but they were good anyway mm. um that's <laughs> fuck chicken <rats. laughs> that said um so everyone out there knows this is the last cast until the first saturday of next month this is starting our once a month broadcasting um so that said you can go catch up on other casts in the past at 72 pin connector on youtube you can tweet at us about what you would like to hear or see or whom on the podcast at 72 pc podcast you can go pick up the podcast and rss feeds off of 72 pin connector.com or you can go you know like a normal person to google play iStore, wherever you want to get your podcast and um yeah that's pretty much it uh couple Team Jam sh- next weekend yes gonna say quick shout out next weekend 72 pc will be host- hosting a game jam uh jump into the discord which is below on our twitch or found on our website at 72 pickconnector.com to find out all information and stay in touch um with that uh do you guys have anything else you'd like to say before we get out of here? No, I can think I, of. Thanks for watching. And thanks yes. for listening. And that has been 72 Pin Connector for this week. So, till next time, game on. Join us for Jackbox afterwards. Bye. Bye. Bye.